Ladies and gentlemen, evil factory workers, welcome back. It's a little big workshop, that's right. And at the moment, we are at a pivotal moment where I think we are just about to fully realize the reorganization that this factory has needed for such a long time now. Anyway, here's what I'm currently thinking. This is going to be the evil room. I've determined that this is going to be the evil room where we're going to throw all of our evil stuff uh, in here. So all of the all of the ritual machines. Uh, I'm not really sure about the evil assemblers, to be honest. The evil assemblers are kind of like a last a last part of the process, and so maybe would benefit from being in sort of the assembly room. But either way, this is the assembly room. That's not going to change. Uh, maybe we need to split out where the exports are stored. But, you know, for now, assembly room, evil room, woodworking room, plastic working room, perhaps metal working room. I mean, you know, we have got the metal extruder down here. But, yeah, we're going to need to expand this, uh, obviously. I I'm kind of thinking that maybe we subsume this room into this room here. I think that's probably what I'm likely to do. Uh, we are in the process of making money, slowly but surely, of course. There is, there is never... There is never enough of the stuff to go around. Uh, we're we're currently manufacturing toy food. Uh, the price is only going to continue to increase, so there's no particular rush to sell that now unless there's a limit. What do we got? Um, no, there's not a limit. There's no limit at all. We got three orders, and the orders are all very similar. That is 347 bucks. This is 378. There's no reason not to sell at the, the higher price. I guess we probably want to try and sell as many as we possibly can. So we'll try and sell all 25 units in this cycle here. To be honest, we probably want to think about maxing out each and every each and every order. But, you know, we'll worry about that later. Anyway, plastics. We definitely want to expand our plastics capacity uh, over the course of this episode as well. Uh, we want to pretty much be accepting every single challenge that Vlad, you know, throws our way. Very, very keen to do that. Uh, we've got the opportunity to buy out three competitors now, which I'm very, very, very interested in doing. The game has been updated since the last time that I actually played, which is good, because now the crazy overdrive icon has been replaced with an actual icon, as in opposition to, you know, a regular old photo of a workbench or whatever. But, uh, but there we go. Okay, on a temporary, on a, on a temporary timescale, let's move the evil assemblers over here. I don't love this idea, but, you know, it's it's temporary, right? It's temporary, and it absolutely will not be sticking around forever. So, we'll move that around a little bit. This is going to need to be rearranged to store for there and there. Yep, cool, excellent. Let's extend this out a little bit just to make sure that we've got plenty of space. Okay, pretty pretty happy with that. We should be able to deal with evil products very, very swiftly now, actually. Very, very, very swiftly. Let's throw down... Let's throw down, I don't know, a zone over there, and we'll also throw down another sort of zone over here, just as an area where workers can put all of the outputs so that the haulers can then haul it around a little bit. That's pretty much pretty much what we're after we're gonna have to get the infernal zone moved over here this zone can be trash because we don't need it uh do we need anything else in this room in order to make it work to be honest i could do with getting a with getting a multiplier yeah brain in a vat that sounds that sounds just about right it is going to cost us three grand though not really sure that i can that I can deal with that. That's rather a lot of cash. We've got a propaganda tower in here. We do need, yeah, we do need more mood in here. We need more comfort. Green goop. Uh, you know what? Let's go for alien pods. In fact, that's really good. What a great, what a great, uh, what a great little, little modifier there. That's real good. 750 bucks for plus, what was it? Plus 50 happiness or plus 50 comfort. That's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty darn nice if indeed I do say so myself. Uh, let's also throw down another little delivery zone over here. I uh, probably can afford to make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, pretty happy with that, actually. Pretty darn happy with that. Need to tie that up to there as well. 
Okay, I think that that just about concludes all of the modifications that we really need to make to the evil delivery room. This area is going to need a rework completely, to be honest with you. This is, this is just a disaster of an area. Let's get that moved around. We need to get some more foundries. That's very, very important. Fire embers. Fire embers are in a little bit of a state of flux at the moment, I think. I presume that they all need to be created at the ritual station. I think that is indeed the case. That's fine. Uh, I would kind of like to crazy overdrive that, because I don't think that there's really anything else that needs to get done as a matter of priority. The toy food is just continuing to be made. As soon as we've got the 25 units, we'll sell those. Uh, brain slugs, no market offers. I don't know why this has suddenly come up with no, ar uh, no market offers, because we can still... I was waiting to say, we can absolutely still send them to our opponents, but I guess that's absolutely not the case anymore. Huh. Okay, apparently we can't do anything with these. Okay, let's just trash these, I guess, since there is nothing else that we can do. I mean, these these are all evil products that we failed to that we failed to deliver to 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 Blad. So I guess we'll get rid of them. I don't like to do that, but I mean, if if it leaves us no other choice, then I guess we have no option, right? It's just that simple. Uh, let's also smush this up a little smidgeroony. Let's grab this and let's make an additional export zone which we can use to store more products because frankly we shouldn't have we shouldn't have another export zone at any other point in the factory you know we're we're working on streamlining this and that's what we're going to do we need to extend this area over here let me go into the remodeling interface and see if we can just build this out there we go and let's bulldoze that wall and to be honest, we could just do with bulldozing the entirety of that wall and just subsume this entire area into the bigger room. Likewise, that wall as well. It's actually going to be a fairly cheap, a fairly cheap building, a uh, fairly cheap building operation. It is a huge room, so it's going to give us minus 50 happiness, but I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually okay with the fact that we've, we've got huge rooms. Huge rooms, in my mind, are just much, much easier to operate with. Um, if it so transpires that we have no ability to make the room as happy as it needs to be, or as comfortable as it needs to be, then we can always take remedial action and just, you know, throw up a couple of additional walls. But if we make it a little bit bigger, then that allows us to, for example, cut down on doorways. So, you know, now we've got a huge number of doorways that we just frankly do not need to have in here. So we'll get that demolished. Uh, we'll also get this doorway demolished. Or will I? Maybe I'll keep this doorway. Yeah, let's keep this doorway for now. Just to sort of allow, allow some, uh, some throughput there. What do we got going on? What's, what's, what's up here? Uh, let me just, oh. Let me create the plan and let's absolutely go. I presume that we've got enough cash to make this happen. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We do have a second table saw, so we should, uh, take a brief moment just to remap just to remap this. Yep, uh, glue stations. Glue stations are not going to the right location for some weird reason. There we go. Uh, that needs to be set to the right location too. Wonderful. Okay. An evil assembler as well needs to be set correctly. Alright, we've had to remap all of these... All of these... Uh, all of these operations, but I guess it'll be it'll be worth it. Fine. Right, looking good. How are we doing fire embers wise? We're not doing too badly. Not doing too badly at all. We'll get the rat traps done. Why are the shelves taking such a long time to make, I wonder? It should be it should be much quicker. Also, I think that there was a, an issue with workers sort of moving around the moving around the base. I presume that it was due to the fact that I destroyed this door before destroying this wall. I've got to imagine that that is the case. Okay. Cue that up for repair as well. 
Obstruction does indeed cause slower movement, but that's fine. Okay, so Fire Embers is working out is working out fine. Toy food we're about to we're about to ship off, which is great. Uh, I got a little uptick of cash there for some reason. I don't actually know why, but I'm glad that it uh, I'm glad that it happened. So that's fine. These Fire Embers, by the way, these are I think for. Are they for a specific mission? I think they're for a specific mission to Swaikia, if I'm not mistaken, right? So that's kind of cool. We can send another investigator to bend their music. Let's do that. Let's send another investigator to bend their music. And we will have another buildy mission to do. Uh, workers, we could honestly probably think about recruiting a couple more workers. I think we could cause the most harm to Bender's business if we manage to ruin one of their live performances uh, and product demonstrations somehow. Could you cook up something that I can easily smuggle in before they have their next session? Absolutely. Categorically, absolutely. What have we got? Evil headphones? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. The good news is, the good news is, is that we actually have quite a robust plastic uh, assembly process. It's going to be a little bit annoying to sort of traipse all of the bits for the evil headphones uh, across the factory to the assembly area and then have to move them all the way back to the chemical to the chemical workbench but i mean if it if it has to be done then it has to be done ah i need to set this oh by the way yeah so um there was a comment thank you as ever for the uh for all of the comments folks there was a comment basically saying that the bio pellets and stuff, this is unlocked, this is unlocked by the evil materials. So, that's why you unlock the evil materials in the, uh, in the R&D evil tree. So there you go. Bit of, bit of fun knowledge for you. Alright, let's deliver 25 bits of plastic food. Let's get them shipped away as quickly as we possibly can. And let's just keep on keeping on, shall we? Excellent. Uh, there was also another comment which I particularly liked about chaining together a couple of delivery trucks. Uh, so, for example, we could chain the evil delivery truck in addition to, like, the regular market truck. Potentially in addition to builder's truck so that we could really extend the time limit that we have to build each and every individual item. Uh, which I quite like the sound of. That is, that is very nefarious. Uh, let's do... Sure, there we go. Nice. Good stuff. Get to work. Anyway, yes, chaining together, chaining together a whole bunch of delivery trucks so that so that we have an effectively unlimited amount of time. It's quite nice indeed. Uh, this is metal bending, which we can't do anywhere else. Yeah, I honestly think that as soon as we're done with the bar stool assembly stuff, I don't think that we're gonna have much. Uh, I don't think we're going to have many uh, many workstations that don't have a person. We've got three idle workstations at the moment. So that is a little bit less than ideal. Because ideally, we want every single person to be working all the time. However, I realize that that is not entirely always possible. So we just have to, we just have to live with that. Uh, we're close to bankruptcy, but we're about to get nine grand from shipping off all of our uh, all of our stuff, and all of our builders are about to disappear. And what do you know? What do you know? We've actually fully extended this room, and it's now it's now looking much better. Okay, so woodworking workbenches, woodworking workbenches are, you know, a, a grand a grand feature for the moment because it means that just sort of anything that we Anything that we can't currently do with a bespoke process, we can do with a woodworking workbench. But we're, you know, we're gonna want to get rid of them at some point. Uh, they're they're not they're not good. And to be honest, do we have everything? You do detailing simple and detailing advanced. Uh, you know what? Maybe we just trash these workbenches. Let's disassemble them. Let's disassemble them. I actually want the space. I actually want the space for the glue stations to be at the bottom here. Yeah. I think that's I think that's actually what I uh, what I care about. Yeah. Right. So this needs to be disassembled as well, and we will store that hopefully in general storage over here. That's the plan anyway. Whether that 
whether that works or not, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. But how's everything going? Everything's going particularly fine-ish, uh, apart from the fact that evil headphones need to sort of be bumped up the priority queue a little bit. It's just because we're making the toy food uh, in the plastic injection presses. I tell you what, to counter that, why don't we see? Why don't we see if we can get ourselves another plastic injection press? I am pretty determined. I'm pretty determined that we're going to be doing that we're going to be doing quite a lot, quite a lot of expanding today. Quite a lot of expanding today, quite a lot of extra machine production to help us out. For sure. Also, we definitely need to stick at least one, probably two shelves in the middle here. Let's, in fact, yeah, I shouldn't have boxed that up, but that's fine. Let's get you moved over to here. Is this room still happy? It is actually still a happy room. That's excellent. Is this room still happy? This room is not happy anymore. Well, you know what? That kind of makes sense. And get this moved over here. Okay. This room is now unhappy too. I thought this room was happy. I thought we had a happy room. Hmm. How peculiar. Okay. Let's move. Let's move this around then. We'll stick that over there. Wonderful. We'll get the assembly station moved back a little bit. And then we're actually going to build uh, a couple of shelving units in here. We're probably just going to use small shelving units. Yeah. Because they're slightly, slightly sleeker. Slightly more slender profile. Alright. The good news is, is that we are now able to do all of our plastic works slightly faster. Which is great. Pretty happy with that. Will it make much of a difference? I hope so. I very, very much hope so. Uh, contained alien mold. Yes, I do feel like I'm probably going to be able to do that pretty reliably now. But I just don't want to attempt it quite yet. But, you know, we will. We will attempt it. Don't you worry about that. Right, so throw that down over there. Excellent. That's roughly equidistant between the two, between the two benches. I'm fully anticipating that we extend this uh, assembly room out this way, by the way. I should state. It's not, uh... It's not going to be staying this way forever. Uh, it's going to be getting much, 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 much larger. And hopefully, maybe we can have a dedicated uh, exports zone. That might be a nice idea. There we go. And... Let's give that a shot. Let's see if that actually... Let's see if that actually works. Certainly, in terms of, in terms of floor space, we're going to be cutting down substantially on the amount of floor space that we're going to be using. Yeah, that's looking good. Also, evil headphones. Looks like we've caught up with evil headphones, which is great. We do need to order a couple of additional evil products anyway, just so that we can actually do some sabotage attempts. Although, in saying that... Oh, pause. Yep, let's get the... Let's get the, uh, the contained mold up and running. We cannot afford to miss any... Blad contracts because they literally are that good. They literally are that good. Right, let's do it. 800 bucks. 800 bucks is a small price to pay. Quite happy with that. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's get everyone in uh, in red alert. We should be using this. We should be using this pretty much on cooldown as there is no downside. There is no downside to treating your workers horribly. Uh, we should also try to get rid of these sabotage mimics because, frankly, they are taking up a lot of space in the export zone and it would be really, really great if we could get rid of them. Looks like... Looks like this has worked fairly well in terms of shelving and storage units and whatnot. Let me see if I can throw down one more shelf here. Uh, I could get one more shelf. I could get one more shelf over there. Let's let's actually do that. Let's actually do that. And let's just uh, make it a little wider again. There we go. Excellent. Again, I think shelving units in the middle of in the middle of everywhere is is the way to go. To be honest with you, I really really do. I think it is it is the way. It is the way. Okay, we got a, a little bit of extra evil imbuing on the fire embers, and then we'll be done with uh, we'll be done with them, which is wonderful. We're in a state of red alert, which is also kind of nice. Yeah, this is looking this is looking pretty exceptional. Pretty exceptional. Right, next land purchase. The next land purchase that we're going to get, probably this area over here. We'd only really get this area if we needed to extend our... 
that's fine. Uh, if we needed to extend our plastic working area, but I, I think that we're okay with this at the moment. Extending the assembly area would, would definitely be good. I presume that assembly is probably our largest bottleneck at the moment. Yeah, it absolutely is. It absolutely is our largest bottleneck. It absolutely is. Okay, what's the first stage of this contained alien mold process here? Because I, I worry a little bit that we might not... We might not be able to get it done. Uh, evil headphones need to be done on... The evil lab stations first. Uh... Yeah, maybe... We alternate this a little bit. Maybe we alternate this a little bit. Let's, let's move that back in there. Let's move that back in there. Let's at least start work, right? On... Let's at least start work on some of these things. Yeah. So let's let's try and let's try and make sure that we've got a good balance of activity happening. Look at our export zone. This is a disgrace. Honestly, the sooner that we can get rid of these fire embers, the better. There's literally like one or two left to go. So let's get these out of here. And we'll pick up a whole bunch of cash as well. Uh, to be honest, we could look at getting some more haulers so that we can speed up the process of exporting all of our junk. Oh, this is ridiculous. To be honest, a break room, a break room extension, also probably on the cards. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're going to need it. We're going to need it. Alien mold is still my biggest worry. It really is. It really is still my biggest worry. Evil headphones, I'm convinced that we're going to be fine. Alien mold, we're probably going to be fine. Barstool, large shelf. Yeah, that's that's all fine anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's that's not even a it's not even a high priority item. Oh my goodness! Look at this export zone. The amount of obstruction here is is quite obscene. Actually, we need shelving units everywhere. We need shelving units everywhere. It is a disgrace that we do not have anywhere near the the number of shelving units that we actually need. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and also, the market refreshed. The market refreshed, and I haven't done anything about it. Three units? Three dock units? Oh, flippin' bender music. That is making me very unhappy. Very, very, very unhappy. Electric guitars. We'll get rid of the electric guitars as well. The toy food. To be honest, the toy food is... Yeah, let's, uh, let's deliver the toy food, and then let's also bring in... Let's also bring in some more materials to make more toy food as soon as we as soon as we get the cash. Okay. Keep loading, keep loading, keep loading. Assign some more workers. Yeah, this trucker might actually like just straight up leave with all of our without all of our embers. Did we do that? Did we manage to get rid of all of the embers? I think we get kinda did. Um, I mean, look, we need more haulers, to be honest. That's the... That's the upshot of that. Recruit one more hauler. We only have the cash for one at the moment. Okay. We're going bankrupt, but that's okay. We're... Everything's slightly going bankrupt. Where's the... Where's the... How's the... way? How do I get rid of my embers? My fire embers? I still have, like, ten chilling around. Okay, nothing more in the evil tech area to research. Uh, apparently, I've already unlocked Code Red, even though I shouldn't have access to it. That's cool, too, I guess. Marvelous. Excellent. Very, very happy with that. So that was presumably for one of our Blad contracts. Yeah, we're back in the we're back in the cache, which is excellent. Fire Embers, though? How do we get rid of Fire Embers? Please tell me that there's a way to get rid of them. Otherwise, I will be very, very sad. Very, very, very sad. All right. Apparently, apparently not. Uh, we need to we need to queue up a brand new a brand new plan. Uh, I'm gonna build a brand new product. Let's try. What do we got? Bender music here. Let's do. Let's do a plan for what? A robot intern? Oh no! This is a it's a full blown robot, isn't it? It's a flippin' full-blown robot. I'm gonna need to build at least 10 of these. Uh, okay. Robots, robots are off the cards for now. Let's just stick with the easier... 
with the easier production production destruction thing. A sabotage rat. We've not built a sabotage rat, but how hard could it be in comparison to building a robot, right? Mutation station. Get that. Okay, all right. Let's 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 plan this out. We get any evil materials? Oh, we can get evil materials. Let's do Sure, we can torpedo marketing as much as we as much as we can. Uh, let's do plastic mold. Sure, that's not actually terrible. That's not actually terrible. Okay. So, straight cuts. Straight cuts are going to be done right in there. Lathe, lathe. Mutation, done there. Evil assembly, very simple. Done there. Plastic, plastic work, done there. Painting also done in this plastic working room, which I'm not super happy about. Anyway, we need to get 10 of these. How much is that going to set us back? 820 bucks. 820 bucks is actually quite a lot. It says that we're going to make profit, but I mean, we're not going to make profit because they're evil, right? I mean, we can't. We're, we're due to send them to our opponents. So, you know, we don't have the capability to do that. I just need I just need ten additional units of something to send to my opponent so that I can get rid of these sabotage mimics, because frankly, there is no upside to having them. There is no upside to having them. They just occupy such a large amount of space. It's just uh just obscene. Okay. Looks like looks like we're just about getting on top of everything here. Let's order some more. Let's order some more. Let's order... Let's do 40. Uh, 30 even. Let's do 30 bits of... 30 bits of food. Toy food, that is. So that we can sell sell the remainder of the 15... The remainder of the 15 units on this market cycle. And then presumably, like roughly another 20-something on the next market cycle. I still think that that's the best price that we're going to get. Yeah, so let's do that. Uh, weirdly, don't know how to trash. Don't know how to trash the fire embers. Don't know how to trash the fire embers. Don't know how we can get rid of them. I guess we'll have to find out. We'll have to wait until the end of this market cycle to find out how our you know bespoke sabotage attempts actually actually went. I presume they'll have gone positively. Right. Okay. How, how are we doing? Evil headphones. Evil headsets. Why are we not able, uh, able to make evil, evil headsets? What's the problem? What's the problem with headset manufacturing? Ah, it's an assembly project. It's an assembly project. Okay, that needs to be prioritized right at the top there. Okay, so as soon as the large shelf is built, let's get the let's get the headsets absolutely built. We should have all of the prerequisite components to make that to make that work. I do indeed believe. But yeah, that's that's my bad. I should have absolutely bumped that up to the top. Uh, is there anything else that would cause a problem here? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. All right. Look at the size of these headphones. It's huge. Absolutely huge. That walk around is ridiculous as well, by the way. I feel like the workers shouldn't really have to go all the way around. Around here. Yeah, this is... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The obstructions. Oh, I don't even want to look at... I don't even... I don't even want to look at the obstruction overlay there. That's not even... It's not even... Not even good to do. Not even good to do. All right. One pair of evil headphones. Check. Excellent. As soon as we get both of these assembly stations working on headsets, we should be we should be fine. Okay. I'm fine working at 75% efficiency. Let's put this into crazy overdrive actually. I don't believe that it's going to lose I don't believe that it's going to lose any efficiency, which I think is the right thing to do. We can at least maintain our production of that for a little while. I think we're going to have evil headphones done first. Then we're going to need to get contained alien molds out the door. So that's pretty important. Toy food as well. We're working on toy food. Toy food should be... 
happening over here. We still have a bunch of people that are free. Is it perhaps worth us investigating a new product? A new product. I mean, electric guitars. There's not even there's not even much market share for any of these. There's just no there's just no market share for any of these at all. Uh, what about this chair? This chair seems pretty good. This chair seems pretty pretty excellent. Swaiki is not competing on this, which is wonderful. Now here's a problem. Here's a big old problem. Is that I am pretty interested in making sure that we have uh. Oh, no. Okay, so if I don't build it out of metal, basically it's not going to have the same structural integrity that we actually need. That is a problem. That is a big, big problem. Right, and not to mention the fact that we don't actually have any of the right material processing machines to do this. So we would need to get, we would need to get this machine, which is the foam injection, I think. We would need to get a metal rolling machine, and we need to get a, what is that? That's not a bending machine, is it? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's another type of machine. I still think that this is our best bet, though. I still think that this is our best bet in actually keeping people's attentions occupied. And giving people something to do. Right. Throw that in there. Sewing stations. We definitely do have a singular sewing station, which is probably okay. Uh, metal bending. Again, I don't love the idea of using a really slow process for metal bending, but I guess we have to. Uh, plastic molds. I'm going to just order that. I, I think that that's something that I do want to do. Let's get rid of that. What do we got? Uh, it's a rat cage or whatever the heck it, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, yeah, let's let's plan this out. So that leaves us with what? That leaves us with what? Only needing to buy a metal rolling machine. A sheet machine. Which we don't have the cash to do. So we're going to need, a, you know, around six grand in order to... In order to do the next order of materials. Which is fine. Which is fine. Man, I would love to sell... I would love to sell these ducks. I'd love to sell these rubber ducks. Bar stools. I could sell some bar stools. Yeah, let's sell some bar stools, actually. To be honest, if we're gonna be making anything, let's let's at least make some some bar stools. Oh, we need metal bending machine, actually. Wood bender or woodworking station. Uh, let's grab the wood bender. It's probably gonna be a little bit cheaper. But of course, we're gonna need a little bit of cash in order to do that. Okay, let's let's build the let's build the bar stools as a interim product before building the office chairs, the desk chairs. That seems pretty reasonable. As long as everyone's busy, I'm kind of okay, right? That's my that's my logic. Uh, evil headphones were ahead of the curve on those. Wonderful. Large shelves, we're able to sell 25 of these, but we're going to hold on to those until we're able to chain together a long process that allows us to string out contaminated alien... Contaminated alien mess. Okay. And then as an interim, I did say, yep, we'll use this. Cool. Have we got all of these hooked up to the right... No, we don't. So this needs to still be split. There we go. The, what is that, extrusion? I think that's extrusion. I can never tell what's what's extrusion or not. It's still going to be done at 25% speed, but that's okay. I guess it has to be done. Fine, let's go. Let's go. It is an extruder. Well, hey, I got it. All right. Excellent. Evil headphones, we are going to be done imminently. Sabotage rats, that's also cool. Everyone is busy right now. Sabotage. What happened? Somebody sabotaged it? Was that it? I've not seen anything. Doesn't look like anything happened. Huh. How weird. Also, speaking of sabotage... How's my how's my company doing? We're we're in a balanced rate of growth at the moment. We're still collecting a paycheck of 
a pretty decent amount each and every day, 1,900 bucks a day. That's not bad. I mean, eventually we might be able to get to a point where we don't have to, we don't actually have to manufacture anything. We can just rely on the dividends from all of our, from all of our illegally, illegally acquired businesses. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Okay, this area is the area that we need to focus on for the next wee while. Getting contained alien mold done is very, very important. And still we have issues with it. I really don't know why. I really don't know why. I guess it's just because there's not many workers down here to work on to work on the stuff. I don't know, dude. It seems to be taking a, a long time. Also, evil evil headphones are still in the queue. Yikes. Okay, evil headphones are still in the queue. I my plan was contingent on getting on getting evil headphones done and dusted well within the deadlines so that we could extend the contained alien mold a little bit. That may not be possible now. I sure as heck hope it will be, but as long as we finish our delivery of evil headphones before before the contained alien mold, then we should be fine. Come on. Come on. We can do it. We got three hours. We got three hours to go. One more. One more. One more. Oh, I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we're going to do it. Okay, so we need to we need to queue up these large shelves to be... To be collected. Let's ditch the number of workers that we've got here. Let's put it down to two. And then we're going to be clicking... We're going to be clicking here as quickly as we can. There we go. Deliver. So now we've queued up two trucks. Queued up two trucks. Excellent. Put that down to one. So that gives us the best possible opportunity to, to get as much contained alien mold together as we possibly can. So we should have nothing but contained alien mold stuff occurring. Let's crank the priority up to five so that whenever something becomes available... We'll be able to do it. Put everything into overdrive there. Can we see how long the queue is? One hour, 42 minutes. Three hours, 42 minutes. Okay, it looks like we're almost there, actually. I think that we, we might be in with a good chance of making this, making this happen. Yeah. I'm pretty hopeful. Pretty darn hopeful. Okay, we got a couple of haulers. We got a couple of haulers who are still chilling. Ooh, goodness gracious me. Okay. That's exciting. Alright. Let's see exactly what happens with the truck over here. There we go. Wonderful. 8 out of 20. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. 10 out of 20. 11 out of 20. You know what? I think we're actually going to do it. I think we are actually going to do it. Trucker is still getting stressed, but that's okay. The trucker can leave early. I don't care. It's just shelves, you know. Uh, no big deal, really. Yep, trucker's just gonna head off. And that'll be fine. Okay. Now we get our... We get our pickup of... What is this? Oh, yes. This is our... This is our evil headphones. Cool. Trucker is back again. And by the time that the trucker is back, we should be able to... We should be able to say that we've completed all of our alien mold successfully. We literally have one more batch of alien mold to get rid of. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I cannot actually believe that we managed to do that. That was fantastic. Okay, let's do let's do this. Let's do the challenge contract for for uh, for our good friend and employer, I guess. We'll do the gnome catcher challenge. Sure. All right. Wonderful. Excellent. It is going to be a little while before we're going to be able to start work on the Gnome Catcher officially, but hey-ho. Bump that up to three assigned workers. Excellent. I don't know... I don't know if we actually need to do anything with our evil points. It'd be nice if I did have something to do with them, but I don't think that we can. Uh, let's get advanced... Let's get advanced plastics. Let's get advanced plastics and then we'll get advanced metal working. Uh, just subsequent to that. Evil deeds are being done. 
Wonderful. Sabotage has been completed. Just what I like to see. Great success. Those headphones sure did the trick. Check out the video from the live performance that I just sent you. Hey, wonderful. That's good. Did our, um, did our previous, did our previous sabotage attempt not actually work on Swikea? I presume because we didn't deliver all of the fire embers, maybe it didn't? Which kind of sucks, but, yeah, whatever, I guess. Uh, yeah, ruin things. Okay, yeah, it is fire embers. Okay, uh, sure, 60, we'll do it. I guess we just have to get more of these flipping things. Even though I've already got a fair number in my in my export zone. It's a bit irritating, but whatever. Whatever. Okay. Well, hey, we did it. 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 Brilliant. Contained alien mold. Successful. Very, very successful. That is excellent. And we've got more evil points than we know what to do with at this point. Which is totally fine. We're also great in terms of cash. What did I get? Plastic extrusion machine, advanced injection press. Getting an advanced injection press would be excellent. Uh, a really, really good mission to uh, to shoot for. I think that would be that would be cool. Right. Uh, what are we waiting on completing next? The sabotage rats. That's pretty important that we get that done because that's going to free up a whole bunch of export space for us. Very, very excited about the prospects of that. Uh, everyone should be busy doing something at the moment, which is great. We're getting all of our plastic in for these ember things. All right, let's see if we can try and launch a sabotage operation at, I guess, I guess Swikea? Because Swikea is a little bit better, a little bit better equipped. Make it sneaky. Sure, okay, let's just absolutely destroy Swikea. Absolutely destroy Swikea. And finally, at long last, we can actually get a huge amount of stuff in our export zone just completely, completely cleaned up. Which is really, really great. Okay, evil deeds are going to be done. Let's ditch this export zone temporarily. Because that will allow us to hopefully stick down a whole bunch of shelves, which is going to make the area a heck of a lot more organized. Do we want to get the big shelves or do we want to get the... Do we want to get the little shelves? Let's go for the big shelves. Let's go for the... Let's go for the big shelves. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? That's that's fine. 1,200 bucks for a shelving unit or two or four. I'll do it. I will absolutely do it. Excellent. Good stuff, and then this needs to get zoned as an export zone. Wonderful. Okay. So, contained alien mold. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This contained alien mold really is Blad's favorite, and it's coincidentally the only thing that I really do have problems creating. Irritatingly. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this shortened a little bit. Let's get this moved up here. There we go. Let's get this plant moved over there. Let's get this billboard moved over there. And that should provide... Should provide uh, an easy throughput. I do indeed believe. Let's see if it works. Okay, fire embers were ahead of schedule for. Bar stools were, were in a pretty good place. Toy food, good place. Gnome catchers, very good place. Gnome catchers are assembled finally at the evil assembler, so we don't need to worry about the bar stools, the toy food being in the assembly queue up here. That's good. That's good. Okay, woodworking room needs a big reorganization, but that's fine. Uh, metal working room does also need a reorganization as well. However, we are, I feel, about to do that. If we get two R&D points, is it worth us maybe holding off until we get advanced metal working? No, you know, I think that we can just... 
I think that we can go ahead and order our sheep machine over here. And also order... What was it? I was gonna, I was gonna check, actually. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Oh, it's probably easier to just find it on the market. Yeah, we get this... We get this chair. You're now competing on the chair front. Oh, that's... Problematic. What was this kitted out for? 9, 20, 27. 4, 20, 27. Uh, what was our chair? 9, 20, 27, 6, 6, 31, 29. This was the chair that we were ready to make. Uh, blah. I don't love the fact that we're going to be competing on this, but we're going to make a bunch of profit. We're going to make a bunch of profit if we do want to compete on this. I, I don't think that eight chairs is going to be enough to to do anything, to be honest. I think we need to I think we need to, we need to try and find a product product for ourselves that we can, we can work with here. Uh, right. The, what is this? Form press. Let's grab that as well. Okay, nine grand of Oh boy, that was nine grand of machines there. It's rather a lot, but at the end of the day, it's two brand new machines, which is which is great. Uh, let's execute one. We'll do one chair as a proof of concept. Maybe it's not something that we wanna that we wanna continue with. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm a little bit nervous actually that that might have just pushed us over the edge in terms of uh, in terms of cash. Ideally, I'd like to get a contract finished now so that I can so that I can uh, so that I can say we'll be fine. Let's get let's get the bar stool pushed to the top, shall we? And let's reassign toy food there, toy food there. Uh, yeah, reassign toy food over there and reassign toy food over there. Because so I think that we should be able to build the foot rests and stuff right now. We've got a couple of additional metal rods to do on the metal working station, the metal bending station. That's fine. Happiness in this room is fine. Happiness in this room is not fine, but it's it's okay. Zero minus seven. Okay, so this needs to get addressed. Thirty-three. Right. Well, we don't have any cash to move anything around at this moment in time, so we're gonna have to take something from somewhere else. How much would this do? The full 15. Let's move that across there. Cool. Alright. So yeah, we're we're in a pretty bad financial state, actually. Yeah, this is this is really, really not good. Uh selling the woodworking stations. I think we're selling the woodworking stations. Yep, that's gonna it's gonna sort of keep us afloat for a, a while longer. We just have a lot of evil contracts on the cards at the moment. A little bit less than ideal. Let's go to cash generation mode just for a second, um, because I need the I need the cash at the end of the day to keep me afloat. Just temporarily, mind you. Just temporarily, mind you. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Two thousand nine hundred bucks. Another two thousand nine hundred bucks from the company that we own. Excellent. Gnome catchers were ahead of schedule there. Bar stools. Bar stools we're, we're good for. This can be taken off overdrive. Don't know why that was on overdrive in the first place. We'll make all of our staff work a little bit harder. Also, you want to make some more gnome catchers? I think I do want to make some more gnome catchers, actually, now that I think about it. Yep. Uh, looks like we are mostly fine. Just need to redo that a little bit. Okay, 790 bucks. It's okay with me. Right. Gnome catcher wise, we are we are good. In fact, we got double the gnome catchers. Market cycle is almost ending as well, which is gonna allow us to sell three more ducks. Hallelujah. The more ducks, the merrier, eh? 
Uh, the bar stools did indeed end up completing, which is excellent. Uh, there is no reason not to deliver as many of these bar stools as we possibly can. And to be honest, we should be planning a huge number of products. We should get at least 40 of these products out the door next market cycle. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. And I think, to be honest, we're probably going to be... We're probably going to be okay. Financially, we will, we will survive. Also, it looks like these fire embers cannot be stored on shelves, which is a massive pain in the backside and actually deeply, deeply, deeply frustrating. Right, we need to build like 40 of these. Yeah. Only 1,500 bucks of materials, so it's a, it's a bargain price right there. The chairs as well. Let's get started on the chairs as swiftly as we possibly can. Yeah, look, everything is going well. Everything is going well. Nothing is too detrimental. In fact, I'm that confident that I'm going to switch back to balanced mode so that we can continue to grow our cash flow. Fire embers. Let's get rid of these fire embers as swiftly as we can as well. That's good. Market has refreshed. Okay. Market is refreshed. What have we got in store here? What is this? A stool. Just a regular old stool. All right. Fine. Anything else of interest? Uh, that's that's new. Nothing else, really. Orcish multi-tool is leaving. Yeah, nothing really that we're interested in, I don't think. Uh, the chairs we do need to we do need to work on. Uh, more interestingly, yeah, okay, so Swikia we have absolutely pummeled. Holy cow. And I tell you what, I tell you what, uh, Bender Music as well, they are they are heading they are heading to financial ruin very, very quickly indeed. Irritatingly, Fire Embers were set for Swikia, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna have to just, I don't know, chalk that up as a massive loss. Because there is nothing that we can do with them now. Uh, we can't even sell them. We can't redirect where where they could or should be going. Yeah, I guess that is, I guess that just is, just is what it is. We're gonna, gonna end up losing a significant amount of money on that. But that's okay. Alright, the chair, the chair, the chair. Honestly, chair's good. But I'm, I'm thinking that maybe bar stools are our way forward. If we can get a significant number of bar stools out in quick succession, that would be pretty excellent. Uh, yeah, challenge contract. Let's do let's do some more of these. I think that we're going to be able to just continue to pump out. Woodworking station requires wood specialist. That's okay. I think that we're going to be able to pump out a, I mean, an insane number uh, of gnome catchers, actually. I don't think we'll have any issues with the gnome catchers. Oh, let's also get rid of our three rubber ducks as well. Three whole rubber ducks. For... 200 bucks, 300 bucks. Wonderful. You just, you just love to see it. You just love to see it, eh? Okay. What are we loading? What are we loading up here? Oh, that was our three rubber ducks. Uh, okay, let's do, let's do the fire embers and let's assign 10 workers to get rid of these because I need to get rid of them all. I am not, I repeat, not holding on to these stupid fire embers for a long time. Also, it seems like we've got a little bit of a breakpoint shortage. It's a little bit of a rarity. I haven't really seen that occurring much at all. But if it's happening, it's not good. We'll need to, I mean, to be honest, we probably need to get a secondary break room. It's not really good enough that we only have one break room at the moment. We're going to see probably a couple of other workers collapse as well. Either that or we develop this break room at a suboptimal rate. Yeah. Does it happen again? Trucker is stressed. I assigned 10 workers here. Are you telling me I'm still not going to be able to get rid of all of these fire embers? Oh boy. Really? Really? I didn't get rid of all... <laughs> I didn't get rid of all the fire embers. How do I, how do I ditch them? How do I di Is it even possible for me to ditch them? Fire embers. I think I can ditch them this way, right? Scrap 24 fire embers. There we go. Alright. Let's scrap them. Get rid of them. 
They are occupying far too much space. Far, 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 far too much space. Right. Can I stick down? Can I stick down any break room bits and bobs in here? I think, to be honest, I have to. I don't think that I really have the opportunity to develop a brand new break room. Wait, do I have a TV in here? I don't think I have a TV in here. I do not have a TV in here. Okay, let's order a brand new TV. Huh, okay. I, I thought that I had all of the breakpoint recovery items in this room, but apparently I do not. Fine. Alright. Cue that up as well. Toy food. We want to get as much toy food out of here as we possibly can. 15 units. I mean, we want to get every single unit out of here. Hey, hey! What do you know? A big old level up. We've got two research points. I'm really after that advanced metalworking uh, upgrade. That would be really, really, really exceptional if I could get that done. Yeah, that would be real, real nice. Wonderful. Okay. So, this puts us in a position where we do have the appropriate amount of cash. Uh, I'm going to immediately pick that up, and that needs to get redone. There we go. Glue station, that's fine. Evil assemblers, that's fine too. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we're in a position where we can pick up this area over here. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to maybe spend my cash on a couple of machines? Honestly, could do with could do with some extra machines. Could do with some extra machines. That would be that'd be great. Can I do can I do an investigator? Learn about this opponent. I don't have any evil products to send to send over to to bend their music, but I wish I did. I wish I did. Alas, I do not. Uh, the toy food, yet we need to continue to chuck as much of this stuff out as we possibly can. And we've got 13 units left to sell, and we will be doing that indeed. 790 bucks. Yeah, I think I'd prefer to make bar stools. Uh, making that chair was definitely possible, as we demonstrated. We, you know, we managed. We did it. But... It could have it could have gone slightly more smoothly. Yeah, left a little to be desired. This woodworking room is is just a disaster. Oh my goodness, it is bad. It is bad. Yeah, definitely needs more work there. Definitely, definitely, definitely needs more work. But that's okay. Right, let's get this toy food out of here. Let's get this toy food out of here. I suspect that we're probably going to get to the point very, very soon where people are going to start to be slacking. People are going to start to be to be chilling because they've not got enough jobs. We got our TV delivered. What's actually on the TV? Something about something about stonks. Can't really see from here, but it's definitely something to do with stonks. Right. Let's get rid of all of our food. All of our toy food, that is. And gnome catchers. Uh, gnome catchers probably should be moved to the to the top of the queue. Um, yeah, there's no reason that we shouldn't we shouldn't do that first. Rubber ducks. Rubber duck demand is about to pick up. The price is still going to be problematically low, but that's okay. That is that is fine. Yeah, how are we gonna how are we gonna keep on top of the the gnome catcher demand? It's because of it's these front grips. That was the problem, is that I, uh, I made a mistake. Also, this needs to be linked up to a couple more. Where's this billboard go? Wait, what? We don't have this pile supplying to that billboard. Oh, that's a big oversight. Oh, well. All right, well, it looks like we might not be super up to date with gnome catchers. But that's okay. Let's get that repaired too. I tell you what, this would be a great investment. This would be a great investment. A metal bender for metal. A metal bender for metal. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's order it. It's going to cost us a lot. Sabotage? <gasps> no! Somebody sabotaged me. 
that's probably going to lead to the failure to get the gnome catchers done, I guess. Um, I mean, you know, to a degree, this is kind of my own fault, really. Uh, we should have an additional lathe, I think. There is no reason not to have an additional lathe. And to be honest, we should also have an advanced table saw. The fact that we don't is kind of ridiculous. All right, well, you know what? I think we just need to... I think we just need to accept that we're not gonna... We're not gonna manage to do the to do the gnome catchers, which does suck, admittedly, which does suck pretty darned hard. But I don't really think that there is any way to fix that. We'll try and extend the deadline by a little bit by getting materials. Maybe we could get some more materials. Maybe we could just, you know, plan a whole bunch of additional ducks or plan a bunch of additional bar stools. We do have 40 bar stools currently in the in the works. Uh, you know what? Let's plan another 40... Let's plan another 40, uh... Bar stools. It's probably a terrible policy, but you know what? We'll see if we can try and extend the... The life of... The lathe a little bit. Try and get some gnome catchers. There we go. Overdrive mode. Okay, get some more front grips. Where, where are these being assembled? They're being assembled over here. Yeah, we're, we're good, actually. We're good here. We're good. We can do this. Put that in overdrive. That in overdrive, too. Wonderful. Okay, a couple more frames to go, and then we're... Oh, okay. And then we're there. Uh, I didn't think that that would cause... I didn't think that the, the trucks would come in that order, but, uh, but apparently they did. There is no market for gnome catchers. None of the public are interested in uh, are in catch are interested in catching gnomes. A bit disappointing, to be honest. But you know, can't really expect any difference. Okay, the trucker is going to start chucking bits and bobs. Honestly, completely okay with that. Move the rat trap up to the top. Yeah, I mean we should be we should be fine in terms of rat trappage. I do indeed believe. It's just. Yeah, literally just a couple more to be assembled, and they need to be assembled over over here, which should be fine. Let's reassign a couple of additional workers over there. We are still having problems with point generation, by the way. Let's order that. Sure. Yeah, we're still having problem with, uh, problems with breakpoint generation. We're going to need to get a second breakpoint. That's, that's pretty much an inevitability at this point. And still, the rat traps are just... They're just not getting done. They're just not getting done as fast as I would like. I have a funny feeling that it's something to do with the hauling order. It just doesn't feel... doesn't feel as sound as it probably should. Yeah. Like, this... This order needs to be refined a little bit here. Okay. Well, you know, we're not going to get there, but we're going to get pretty close. And um, I do still have a trick up my sleeve to try and extend the deadline a little bit. Let's go. Let's go completely overdrive for a little second. Okay, so let's go into inventory. Let's go into inventory and let's see if we can try and trash some ducks. Rubber ducks, scrap, sell all rubber ducks for 276 bucks. Yes, I am going to do that. I know, I know, I know we have uh, a massive uptick in the number of rubber ducks that are actually going to be uh, that are actually going to be on the market in the next wee while. Uh, next market cycle is going to be a good market cycle for the humble duck, but unfortunately I just cannot afford I cannot afford to miss this contract. Selling this rat trap is it's very important to me. Very, very, very important to me. Uh, we can also queue up the scrappage of the gnome catchers. That needs to get done too. Oh, what? Why did you decide to turn up right now, Blad? Come on, my dude. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. 
Also, why are all of these cages not being stored in the appropriate locations? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Weirdly, 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 they're not being stored. In the what the heck is happening here? Like, the parts. The parts that we need are all being stored over here. They should all be stored in this area, because they're... Yeah, I know. Okay, so I, I failed to deliver to you. That kind of sucks a little bit. That kind of sucks. Um, we're we're swiftly approaching the point where I, I feel like I have a lot of a lot of build up. I'd love to send an investigator over here. Uh, we're swiftly ap approaching the point where I have a lot of build up in in evil products that are just sort of sitting around. We got a lot of brain slug containers to work on. We got a lot of gnome catchers to work on. Yeah. Okay. Turn off overdrive there. Turn off overdrive there. Not to mention the fact that. That's fine. Not to mention the fact that our break room isn't really cutting it anymore. Yeah, so that's a bit of a... It's a bit of a pain in the backside. Okay, uh... Why are we still doing all of the metal rod bending over here? Oh, it's because I didn't reassign... Because I didn't reassign that. Uh, let's put that over there, nice. Cool. Alright, and then we will get this boxed away. This should not be operated anymore. There we go. We'll get that boxed up. Let's get this to supply there. Wonderful. And I tell you what, this can supply there, there, and there too. We'll probably see if we can try and get a shelf in there at some point. Brain slug containers. That don't seem to be working. Let's trash those traps. Yep. Get rid of those. And... Yep. Trash those as well, because we don't need to... We don't need to worry about... We don't need to worry about failed projects. I'm just not... Just not interested. Uh, yeah, I will take... I will take a project to do... To do that. How are we doing in terms of foundry stuff? Not bad. Um, we could do... We could do with another foundry. We could do with another foundry. Now, I know for a fact that there is an upgradable, uh, an, up, an, an upgraded version of the foundry. But I think we're just going to settle for two smaller regular foundries at the moment. We're just going to get this all linked up. And we're going to get all of these moved over there. All of these moved over there. All of these moved over there. So we can actually complete tasks a lot more swiftly. You know, getting a billboard, it's it's better than just... It's better than just having the tasks split up over three workstations. It means that we can have more workers actually engaged. Uh, sure, supply to... Let's get this moved into this area here. If it works, it works, right? Uh, yep. Can't click the the button. Let's get two shelves. Excellent. Uh, yes, it means that we can have more workers operating more stations at the same time, which is which is pretty ridiculously good. If indeed I do say so myself, it's pretty excellent. Also, we need to get an output zone over here. And we're going to need to get an output zone over here, too. I mean, look, it's not exactly worked completely perfectly. It's not exactly worked completely perfectly. The, the reorganization that I promised, I guess it kind of materialized, actually. The more that I think about it, the more I'm actually really quite happy with this. This is worked out rather well uh, if indeed I do say so myself it's it's been a it's been a success it has been a success we've had a couple of ups and downs you know we, we absolutely have uh, let's also order another there we go order another big large shelf for this storage area over here we have had our ups and downs if we look at the obstruction overlay it's far from perfect it's far 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 from perfect however it is better it's now you know, not only just red. There are, there are bits of hope 
there are bits of hope scattered amongst the ruins of what will be a great factory at some point. At some point, it will be a great factory. Ooh, advanced metalworking. Let's get that right now. What do we get? An ad advanced abrasive saw, advanced plasma cutter, and a foundry. Now, that actually does a different type of molding. Or a different type of casting, I should say. So, that's that's not necessarily a problem, I don't think. We, we can still operate with these small foundries for a good long time. At least that's kind of the, the plan at this moment in time. We're, we're just gonna... We're gonna stick with this. Uh, metal rods. Metal bender. That's good. We're bending the seats for the stools as well. These bar stools, yeah, we need to get more out the door. We need to get more out the door. We missed the, we missed the boat to get 25 or whatever bar stools out of, out of the door. But, but that's fine. Uh, we can actually sell our bar stools on this market as well because we have, you know, double the style points, same strength, same comfort. Uh, it's a good thing that I trashed my ducks when I did, right? Because there's only four ducks that we can that we can actually sell uh, through this market cycle because of the competition. There's a a lot of competition for selling plastic ducks, which is okay. Uh, right. Where's the where's the container? Why are we not able to do this? Where's our where's our container? We haven't thrown it outside the realm of reality, have we? There must be a container somewhere. Where the heck is our last container? Could we move the appropriate brain slug container across here, please? Otherwise, we're not going to be able to... I don't think there is a... I don't think the, the brain slug container is where it's supposed to be at. I don't know where the last one could possibly be. It's not in any of the storage zones. Okay, so we're going to fail that by one because somebody has lost a brain slug container. What I would wager has probably happened is that it's been thrown outside the map and now it's unreachable. I've had this happen before. Yeah, no idea. Hold up. Okay, so wait, it's actually here. So where where are the ends? Where are the ends then? Do we know where the ends are? Do we know where the ends are? Is that one of the ends? Are those two ends here? Maybe they haven't fallen out of the world yet. Oh my goodness. Wait, we got him though? We did it? Okay, apparently, apparently Blad was quite happy with that. Well, I, I guess that's me thoroughly confused. In fact, uh, no idea why he was happy when he didn't get the appropriate number of brain slug containers. But at least we did it. I guess that's kind of a thing. Guess we can trash it now. It's completely fine. Uh, that seems reasonable. I mean, honestly, it would be nice if I could, like, pre-make these, these brain slug containers for Blad. Because I feel like he asks for the same things. He asks for the same things each and every day. So, you know, why not just, uh, just batch make a whole bunch? And then try to just sell them to him for a reasonable price. Okay. It's fine. Right, I mean, everyone is seemingly doing what they should be doing, which is great. We've got all of our advanced upgrades, which is really, really nice. Improving the metal bending situation, very important. Uh, but honestly, our delivery of... Uh, that needs to get bumped up there, that needs to get bumped up there, and that gets bumped up there. Our delivery, our delivery of uh, of all of the different of all of the different items for Blad seems to be going fine, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna deliver on the brain slugs. Hopefully, we're gonna deliver on the gnome catchers. That that will remain to be seen. I've uh, I've prioritized the gnome catching stuff uh, in the lathe, which was what I was what I didn't do last time, and what led to the problems emerging. Will we be successful? Who knows. But at least we've got a factory that seemingly flows a little bit better. You know, the individual 
the individual rooms do need to be uh, do need to be tweaked. The the assembly room definitely needs to be expanded. The evil room needs to be fleshed out a little bit. Blech, fleshed out. Uh, and the woodworking room needs to be completely reorganized. Not to mention the fact that the metalworking room is in a state of complete chaos. But anyway, folks, we'll deal with that in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thanks ever so much for watching this episode of Little Bit Workshop. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. Thanks to Banana Nanana, Aurelio, and C Senpai for being the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.